Hi, my name is Clayton. I'm with Seaport Marine, and today I'm going to be showing you how to build a floating dock. To get started, you will need the following tools. A miter saw, measuring tape, air compressor, nail gun, impact gun, drill, speed square, carpenter square, hammer, hacksaw, socket wrench, and this one is really important, a number two pencil. Next, you're going to need the following materials. Rough cut pressure treated lumber, inside corner brackets, outside corner brackets, framing angles, washer plates, floats, carriage bolts, lag bolts, nuts, washers, through flow decking, and stainless steel decking screws. Step one, framing. Begin by cutting four pieces of wood to form the outer perimeter of the frame. The dock we are building today is 8 feet wide by 12 feet long. Once the boards are in position, use your nail gun to fasten the corners of the frame together while using your carpenter's square to make sure the corners are as close to 90 degrees as possible. Next. You will need to mark, cut, and set your stringer boards. Start by marking the outer boards to find the proper position of the stringer. Due to the type of composite decking we are using, we'll get to that later, the stringers will need to measure 16 inches on center. Remember to keep checking your corners to make sure they are still square. Once the stringer boards are cut, place them into position and secure them with your nail gun. Step 2 floats. What good is a floating dock if it doesn't float? For this dock, we will be using six 2 foot by 4 foot by 16 inch floats that are rated for 600 pounds each. Make sure you place the majority of your floats to the outer edge of the frame for max stability. Once they are in position, use your impact gun to drive the lag bolts and secure the floats to the frame. Now that the floats are in place, I'm going to attach some 2x12s to act as skirt boards. They are there to hide the float hardware and recess the deck panels. Step 3. Reinforcing Hardware Start by laying out all your hardware where it needs to be. That's one inside corner bracket and one outside corner bracket per corner and one framing angle with two washer plates at each end of every stringer. Use your framing angles to mark your holes for drilling. Make sure you measure so that your exterior hardware appears centered on the skirt boards. Remember to make sure that your framing angles are on the opposite side of each stringer. Drill out the holes and bolt them all together. This is what the end of one stringer should look like when bolted together.
Next, you want to mark and drill the holes for your corner brackets. Run the bolts through and tighten them down. Step 4. Decking. For this stock, I will not be using traditional wood decking. Instead, I will be using ThruFlow's Legacy Series deck panels. They are a fiberglass reinforced composite decking panel that are lightweight with a non-slip surface that exceeds ADA specs. It has a 43% open surface area that allows water and air to pass through during rough weather, thus reducing your risk of storm damage. This amount of open surface area also allows for more light to pass through, resulting in a healthier ecosystem underneath your dock or pier. During the summer, it will not absorb heat, so going barefoot will not be an issue. They come in four different sizes, one by three foot, one by four foot, one by five foot, and four foot by four foot. Also, they are available in three different colors, gray, maple, and sea foam. Each panel has interlocking tabs up two sides that keep them from shifting positions. I'm going to be using six of the four foot by four foot panels. I'm using a hacksaw to remove the tabs on one side because that side is going to be on the outer edge. Once all the unneeded tabs are removed, place the panels in their positions. I went ahead and preset my screws to make sure I didn't miss any. As you can see here, I'm using some dock washers as spacers to keep the panels as straight as possible. Screw the panels down and your dock is done. Thanks for watching. If you found this video helpful, leave us a like or a comment below. If you have any questions regarding these or any other products carried by Seaport Marine, give us a call at 1-800-446-8056. Thanks again, and have a great day.